Hello students. Let's learn how to cite a website with and without an author in APA style. First, let's go over the basic parts of a website's citation. Like most citation styles, APA puts the author at the front of the citation. Instead of spelling out the author's first names or middle names, you use only initials. The second element of the citation is the date of publication. That is followed by the title and subtitle of the web page, the title of the website, and the URL. Note that the URL is a hyperlink and there is no period at the end of it. For a citation with no author, you simply delete the author's name and start the citation with the title of the web page. Then the date follows in the second position. Finally, you add the rest of the information and complete your citation. Note that the date is always the second element in an APA citation. Let's see how this translates to real websites. Here's a web page about transfer schools. The author is Jill Barche. There is a date. The title of the web page is in the center of the page in big letters, and the title of the website is in a logo on the top left corner of the page. The URL is in the browser's address window. The correct citation for this web page looks like this. The author's name is listed with her last name and only the first initial. The, the date starts with the year and follows with the month and the day. The title of the web page is in italics using sentence case, meaning only the first word of the title and the first word of the subtitle are capitalized. Next is the title of the website, and that is using title case, which means all of the words are capitalized. Finally, the URL is included as a hyperlink with no period at the end. This is an example of a website with no author and no date. The only things you include in the citation are the web page title, the website title, the abbreviation ND for no date, and the URL. The correct citation looks like this. The title of the web page moves to the first position. The date element goes after the title of the web page in the second position. In this case, ND stands for no date. Then we add the name of the website in normal font and the URL. Now that you understand how a website citation works, let's see what happens when we run them through a citation generator.